While motor oil doesn't need extra additives, what about your fuel? Can adding a bottle of this make your fuel better? Hi, I'm Lake, the motor oil geek. Let's see what the science says. AAA, of which I'm a proud member, paid an independent lab to test the difference between regular pump gas and top tier gas. What? Why are we talking about top tier fuel in a video about fuel additives? Well, you see, the difference between regular fuel and top tier fuel is the amount and type of detergent additive in the fuel, which is exactly what's in this bottle. Wait, before you think Chevron sponsored this video, they didn't. I picked this one because Chevron actually invented the polyetheramine detergent chemistry, which is what's in all of the top tier fuels today back in 1981. So what's inside this bottle of Chevron Tecron is the same chemistry that's in Chevron's top tier fuel. Remember, there's lots of companies selling different brands of fuels and additives, but there's only a few companies that make the chemicals that go into those products. When it comes to that chemistry, it's important to note that in 1996, the EPA established what's called the LAC, Lowest Additive Concentration Standard for Fuel. Essentially, it's the least amount of detergent additive allowed by EPA regulations. But by 2004, OEMs like GM and Toyota and Honda and BMW recognized that LAC wasn't getting it done. So they came out with what's called the top tier standard, a higher level of fuel detergent additive to keep things like injectors clean and reduce combustion chamber deposits. To meet that top tier spec, a fuel must produce less than 50 milligrams of carbon deposits per valve in the ASTM D6201 intake valve deposit test. So with this understanding in place, let's see what that AAA study found. Using that same ASTM intake valve deposit test, going from the LAC fuel to the top tier fuel, reduced intake valve deposits by 19 times. That's right, 19 times. Not 19%, 19 times. To be specific, increasing the detergent concentration in the fuel reduced the deposits from 660 milligrams per intake valve to 34 milligrams per valve on average. That's crazy. What a huge change. And if that wasn't enough, the piston deposits also decreased by 8%. So you had cleaner valves and cleaner pistons by going from the LAC to the top tier fuel. Increasing the detergent level in the fuel reduced the deposits on the intake valves and the pistons. It's that simple. And speaking of top tier fuel, Top Tier Plus debuts in 2025, which features a higher level of cleanliness for gasoline direct injection engines. We'll leave a link in the description box below for all the details. So increasing the detergent level in your regular fuel by using a fuel detergent additive will reduce the deposits in your engine. So regular old pump gas does need extra additives. So here's an easy way to remember when to use the fuel additive. Just do it when you do an oil change. Just put it in the fuel, not the oil, of course. So if you go to toptiergas.com, there's a station finder on the website that will let you find your local top tier stations. So in my area, the Exxon, Mobile, Shell, and QT stations are all top tier. And just in case if you were wondering, Top tier applies to every octane grade of gasoline under that brand. But the BP, Circle K, and Speedway stations are not top tier. So using the Gas Buddy app, you can see all of the fuel prices at all of the local gas stations, 
which showed me that there really wasn't any difference in price between the top tier fuel in the LAC fuel. Literally on the same corner, there was a BP on one side at 309 and an Exxon on the other side for 309. Well, the BP is not top tier and the Exxon is top tier. So really using top tier fuel isn't more expensive than cheap gas plus the additive. But since all top tier fuels don't provide the same level of cleaning, what's it actually cost to add this to even your top tier fuel. Well, this 12 ounce bottle treats 12 US gallons and it costs about 12 bucks. So basically it's a dollar per gallon. But here's the thing, you only need to use a product like this once every 3,000 miles. So let's do that math real quick. So using my Boxster as an example, which gets about 20 miles per gallon on the highway, this works out to only one cent a gallon, and that's rounding up a little bit. So it's less than a penny per gallon to boost up the detergency in your fuel to keep your injectors clean, which is important because here at Speed Diagnostics, we see high fuel dilution levels routinely. And when the fuel dilution goes up, guess what else goes up? where and using just one bottle oftentimes drives that fuel dilution down which drives down wear in your engine so really using a bottle of fuel detergent additive even on top of top tier fuel is a really cost effective way to keep your engine better protected so we only used one product in this example if you're curious about how other products stack up against this one, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can have a fuel additive competition. To keep learning about fuel, check out one of these and we'll see you next time.